It was a break that caught an alleged killer and revealed Baby Hope's real name. Detectives from the Bronx Violent Felony Squad apprehended Conrado Juarez, age 52, of the Bronx, also known as Enadino Juarez, in connection with the murder of four-year-old Angelica Castillo, a child victim known for the last 22 years as Baby Hope. Retired Detective Jerry Giorgio had heard from colleagues they were close to solving the case. You know, when I got the phone call, I got the news, I, I was elated. Just the, I was up on cloud nine. He was the lead detective in 1991. The decomposed body of a four-year-old girl was found stuffed in this cooler, discarded by a highway. Her body was folded in half and bound. She had been sexually abused. No one ever claimed the body. Days turned to months, turned to years. By 1993, the 34th Precinct Squad had given the little girl the name Baby Hope and a face recreated by computer rendering. The squad also paid for her funeral. It wasn't a dry eye in the bunch, including me. And uh, uh, the church was full, about 500 people in the church. She truly became a member of the community. You know. Anniversaries passed, but police persisted, and finally a break. Police recently got a call on their hotline. The caller said she'd been told several years ago by a young woman that her parents had killed her sister. That tip and advances in DNA testing led cold case detectives to find the mother of baby Hope and eventually arrest the cousin who police say murdered her. At her funeral over two decades ago, Assistant Chief Joe Resnick delivered her eulogy. The justice is going to be when some judge lowers his gavel and says, you're going to jail for the rest of your life. In this final chapter for these detectives, they'll soon replace this plaque at Baby Hope's grave and set in stone her name, Angelica Castillo. Margaret Conley, CNN, New York.